Michelle Collins, Certified Nurse Midwife and Professor of Nursing at Vanderbilt University. And we're talking about emergency transport in the case of a pregnant woman. Now, what you see in the movies or on TV as far as how quickly birth occurs is really unrealistic. They have to make it fit into a 30 minute um, uh, episode. So most women will not need to use emergency transport at all during their pregnancy. But there are times when you may need to consider emergency transport. Um, if suddenly there is an um, extreme amount of pain, if there is uh, bleeding going on, um, or if it's, it feels that eminent that the baby is going to be born, uh, the first thing to do would be to dial your local 911. Don't try to transport a woman who is uh, in the process of giving birth. Um, she's better off to just stay put where she's at <clears throat> and have the professionals come to her. If you must transport uh, the woman, make sure that she is wearing her seat belt, uh, that it's between the breast, the top strap, and below the, the um, abdomen, the bottom strap, across her knees. Try to remain calm and if possible get somebody to ride with you if you are doing the transporting. If for some reason you can't get the, the trans, the uh, paramedics to come to you. If a woman is get, planning on giving birth at home, she should always have as part of her birth plan um, a transportation plan in the event that she would need to be transported to a hospital. So use, incorporating that into the birth plan is a very important piece.